now that we understand the basics about CUCL AXL API, it's time for a demo activity. We are going to use a SOAP tool called SOAP UI for this testing. We will also need to download CUCM AXL WSDL file. Remember, WSDL file contains details about the functions of SOAP implementation. Now, we need to import this WSDL file to SOAP UI tool. Input username and password for CUCM AXL application user in SOAP UI tool and then we are good to run some basic AXL API tests. So at first we need to download the SOAP UI tool. I'll put the link in the description so that you can download the SOAP UI tool. I have already kept the tool downloaded and installed in my PC. Second, we need to download the WSDL file for call manager. Right. So we go to application and we go to plugins inside the applications. Inside plugins, at the top, we see the download option for a plugin named Cisco AXL Toolkit. We need to download this file. I have already kept this to download it. After downloading the toolkit, I have extracted this into this folder. Inside this toolkit, we have a folder called schema. Inside the schema, we have a schema for different versions of CUCM. We will go to current. In the current, we can see the WSDL file for the current CUCM version. Now we need to import this file in the SOAP UI tool. We'll go to SOAP UI tool and click new SOAP project. I will name this project CUCM project 1. We need to keep the location of the WSDL file, browse. Here is the WSDL file. Click open and then click OK. This tool this will download the definitions now. Now you can see this is how the tool looks like after importing the WSDL file. So these are the different request methods available with the tool. Before going further, we will right click on EXL API binding and click show interface viewer. Alright, it will take a few seconds to load the definition. Right. Now we'll click service endpoints. You'll see here it says CCM server name. We need to replace this with our CUCM host name or IP address depending on whether you are using the DNS or not. Here we need to input our uh, CUCM's EXL enabled user. So in the current CUCM, this is the user I have created and this user is not having any group or roles. So let me add a group to this user that has EXL API role. So by default, the super user is going to have uh, the EXL API role in it. So I will assign this user to be the super user. All right, I'll click save. 
but you can create a different access control group which only has the EXL API access role to it. But for the purpose of demo, I'm using the super user access control group. Now I will use this user name and password in the SOAP UI tool. I input the username and put the password. And I need to click enter. Okay. So that's all. We've done setting up the tool. Now we will show uh, a demo of AXL API by fetching some information from CSEM. So we'll use uh, get CCM version at the start. Let's say says request one. We'll double click it. Here is the request. All right. So in the process node, it says question mark. Let's play this request and see the response. The process node name specified is not valid. So definitely the process node name is not valid because it's a question mark here. What I'll do, I'll remove this optional parameter and then click play again. This time I'm able to fetch the version of call manager using the EXL APIs. Let's see what else we can do. I'll go to get phone. All right. Let's see if I can fetch the information about an IP phone. I'll click request. Here, there are multiple optional parameters. You can uh, check what are the parameters, but as of now, I'll remove these optional parameters for the sake of simplicity. All right. Now, I'm left with two choices, name or UUID. I'm going to use the name of an IP phone to fetch its details. I'll show you the phone first. This is an IP phone that we have. Its device name is IP communicator. I will input this name here. IP communicator and click play. Let's see what information CUCM gives us with this request. CUCM gives a long list of information, product, model, class, protocol, all right. What else? Device pool name, location name, config name, device type, line index number, phone number. This is the phone here. On the first line, I have 1001, and I'm able to fetch this information using EXL API. On index 2, I'm having the phone number 2002, and that information I'm getting through EXL response from QCM. So, this was a short demo. I will be posting more videos uh, on uh, generating EXL requests and how we can use this for automation. Thank you for watching.